let's talk about graphing special equations. And by special equations, the equations we've talked about earlier have had both x's and y's in them. Most of these equations only have one variable, either just x or just y. Let's look at the first equation. In purple, x equals 2. For this equation, we are going to go to the x-axis. And we're going to go to the number 2 on the x-axis. So follow me over to our graph. The x-axis runs horizontally and the 2 is right here. We're going to place a dot at the x-axis. And from this dot, we're going to draw a line that crosses the x-axis. So if it's going to cross the x-axis, it is going to go vertically or up and down. And that's how you would graph the equation x equals 2. Our next equation is y equals negative 6. For this equation, we are going to go to the y-axis. And we're going to go to the number negative 6 on the y-axis. So follow me back over to our graph. We're going to go to the y-axis, or the one that moves vertically, and at the negative 6, we're going to place a large dot. And from this dot, we're going to draw a line that crosses the y-axis. So if it's going to cross the y-axis, it's going to make a horizontal line. And that's how you graph the equation y equals negative 6. Some students often get confused as well if you have an equation and it does have two variables. Notice this one does have both an x, an x and a y. Okay? This equation is in slope-intercept form since it's a y equals equation. So remember the number in front of the x is your slope. So our slope would be 3 or 3 over 1. Since we're not adding another number to the end of this, that number, that invisible number there is zero. That would be our y-intercept. So if we were to graph this equation, we would start at the y-intercept, or begin with b at the origin, and we'll rise three and run one. Let's go over to our graph. We begin with zero. And our slope is 3 over 1, so we'll rise 3 and run 1. We rise 3 again, we run 1. And from this, we can connect our dots and draw the line that represents y equals 3x. And that's how we graph special equations. Thank you.